pretty much, yeah. Cool. With that, I don't know about you, I'm getting a little low. <laughs> I think we're going to take a quick little booze break and hear a message from future Josh. Booze break! Whoa! <laughs> This video is brought to you by Sheet Music Plus, the world's largest selection of sheet music. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to the, today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including my guests. And my guests today are two-thirds of a fairly new band that I met at Tiki di Amore, which is an awesome tiki bar behind an Italian restaurant called Casa di Amore on Tropicana. And uh, Tiki di Amore is, is, is an awesome, awesome place with really great food. And I was there as part of the Songwriter Showcase hosted by Hal Savar that was uh, held there uh, two months in a row, once a month. And uh, basically, that's it's, it's awesome. You really should swing by and check it out, uh, make a great date night. But as to my guests, definitely stick around. We're going to be seeing a couple of uh, songs performed up in Room 6 by them, kind of an acoustic grunge type thing. Please welcome to the channel, The October. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hey. Welcome to the channel. Thanks. Clank. Thanks. Clank. Thanks. Right. Room six whiskey. <laughs> if any whiskey uh, distilleries want to, you know, sponsor the channel, hit me up. I will drink your whiskey and talk about it <laughs> ad nauseum. So, right off the bat, thank you for coming on the channel. I wanted to ask, you. why the name? Why the October? It's just something that kind of happened. I, un ironically, I'm the only one with the birthday in October. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much just one of the few names we had to choose from, and that's the one that ended up winning. So I winning know, five. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, it was funny because I met, I saw them in October at the Tiki Tiki Mori. So that was funny. So Sam is not here. We're missing the drummer Sam Kaywood, who also drums for Joe vs. the uh, Joe vs. the Volcano. <laughs> Great movie. I meant Joe the Associate. So um. I have seen Sam perform more than once, mm -hmm. but I didn't know he was in a whole other band with you guys. Yes, he was actually with us first, and then... Uh, oh, Joe yeah. poached him? He, he kind of <laughs> did, yeah. Yeah, Joe stole him away. Right on. <laughs> so before I get into my kind of personal questions, I wanted to ask some of my more usual questions. And I wanted to start with, you OG Room Sixers know where I'm going with this, earliest musical influence. And what I mean by that is, what... Is that earliest memory you have of saying I want to do that? Ooh, uh, for me, uh, my dad would play a lot of U2. It was his favorite band. Uh, I love the way that Bono sings. You know, uh, that was kind of like how I got my love for music. He'd he'd play like a lot of '90s stuff. U2, uh, you know, Pearl Jam, Chili Peppers. That's kind of what I grew up on. Um, have you got, had a chance to see them yet at the Sphere? I did, and it was actually for my birthday. So that was that was an amazing show. That's what I hear. Um, I also hear that the Sphere is losing money. Really? Yeah. Like so far, it has not made profit. Huh? Because it's so expensive to run it, and I think they would literally have to have people paying like twenty four hours a day or something. Wow. It's crazy expensive. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of screens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, the, and those seats were pretty expensive too. But I mean, you, you see why. Yeah. yeah, it was amazing. Well, I mean, how much of that goes to the band? You know, right? Yeah, I heard U two's getting a lot of it, like ninety percent of the. Well, good for them. Money. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's a residency, basically, right? Yeah. Right on. How about you? Or at least musical for me, influence. Um, earliest is like Elvis and the Temptations. It's pretty much the same thing. My dad would always be playing them, so. Yeah, Elvis was really my first. Yeah, There's a lot of people's I like, first. Yeah. I want to do that. And ACDC too. Right on. Yeah. Uh, so now, I mentioned this band is fairly new. Like, I think it was last June or July you started doing shows. Um, oh, no, that's right. I think you you did a show and then took a couple of years off. It was. Our very first show was actually at Cemetery Pulp. Oh. Yeah. I have got to get to that place. I've been meaning to. And it's it's a really cool oddities macabre kind of place. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, uh, and that was around. That was uh, last October, I think. Yeah. Coincidental. Yeah. Yeah. 
So about a year old then. Yeah. Yeah, just about. Right as on. an official band, yeah. Now, have you either of you been in other acts before that or done any performing by yourself or whatever? He has. I was in a couple bands in high school, but also we both have been playing in like our church band since like middle school or something like that. Wait a minute. <laughs> I have been remiss. I forgot to say if you haven't if you have no clue who the October is, thank you for watching. Go ahead and tell them who you are and what you do in the band. Can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> I'm Brandon. I play guitar and I sing. Uh I'm Anthony Friday, I'm the bass player, and I am also the singer. We kind of trade off, so. <laughs> and I'm Josh, I host a YouTube channel, uh, and, and uh, forget my lines. Yay. <laughs> so, the best part is when you write your own lines and you forget them. <laughs> so, right on. Uh, so, the reason I ask that is, the October doesn't have a lot of shows under the belt, right? Um, like eight, almost. Oh, that's okay, that's more than I expected. Yeah. yeah. So, with that... There's a question I like to ask uh, uh, bands in particular. What's your favorite show memory so far as per performing in October? Whether something went way off the rails or, or things were, you checked off a bunch of rock star checklist or things or what? Um, I'd say my first, my favorite show would probably be our very first time at uh, Double Down Saloon. That uh, is the experience. I agree. Yeah. That was our, probably one of our better shows for sure. First time we had a like a mosh pit with all our friends. Yeah, in, so that was that's really cool. That's a really cool feeling. Yeah. yeah. Um, I remember going to Double Down the first time, and I was like, "Well, I got to try the ass juice." <laughs> yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> yeah. But also, I I was like, I I thought Dive Bar had a lot of stickers mm -hmm. in the bathroom, right? And I've never seen stickers in the bowl before. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's why we got to check off our list. We want to play there for sure. Dive Bar. Dive yeah. Bar. Yeah. Well, it is way different than it used to be. Like when I played there years ago, excuse me, old man talking. <laughs> there there was um did you ever how long like how long ago did you you've never have you, you've never been there or you we, just we've been there um uh it's how, pretty recently like maybe a few months ago okay yeah. so there used to be the soundboard was off to the side mm -hmm. okay and there was an angry scotsman <laughs> ran the board he didn't care who you were how big you were he just get the sound check done, and he would curse you the whole time. And it was great. It was one of those like, "Hey, I, I, I got, I, I'm getting my dues, all right." <laughs> yeah. But there was the stage, which is not huge, and then there were subwoofers on the floor in front of the stage. Uh huh. But there was a gap, and I remember playing. And the first time I stepped on my distortion pedal, my pedal board slid uh -huh. and went, and and it was one of those wedge styles, and it went into the gap and I almost oh. I almost went right into the crowd oh no Jeez. yeah you want to talk about oh <laughs> yeah and I was I was a singer so I was like I gotta <laughs> keep going but um that's my dive bar story it's changed it's totally uh they've redone the, the sound system they got like iPads now and stuff and um it's uh, there's a barricade in front mm. so it, mm. it's definitely changed a little bit they took the bicycle off the wall, man. <laughs> the bicycle. I, it was always like, why do you have a bicycle on the wall? <laughs> but, you know. Adds character. <laughs> so, Brandon. Yes. Davenport to Vegas, huh? Yes. What brought, Were you moved, or, or did you come um, out here on your own? So, my folks are from Vegas already, but um, my dad was going to Palmer Chiropractic School at okay. the time of my birth. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was born out there, and we stayed there for like three years while he was finishing up school, and then we came back. Oh, so it was always the plan to come back. Yeah. Right Just on. like a weird coincidence that I was out there. What does born. the phrase, Peter to my chip, mean to you? Well, uh, Peter to my chip is giving me family guy right now. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, some... I. I think Sadie might have commented on a post you made or something near the Peter to my chip. I just was like, well, I gotta yes. ask him about that. What is that? I thought that, yeah. If, if you've seen that episode of Family Guy, 
where Peter finds out he has like a little twin like, oh, tumor yeah, guy yeah, yeah, yeah. on his shoulder. Now I get it. Okay. <laughs> I was, because I was like, it's such a random thing to post. Yeah. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> cool. Antony. <laughs> little Antony Scartinelli. Um, so you're a photographer and an IT tech? Uh, I am not so much a photographer anymore. Uh, I used to be. Um, I used to work for a company called Cashman Photo. And uh, they uh, they basically take the souvenir photos at all the shows around Vegas, uh, like all the Cirque shows and all that. So I was I was traveling on the strip a lot back then. <laughs> right on. But you're IT tech now. IT now, yes. Um, Getting those tickets in to re- reset the uh, passwords. Now. Pretty. That's that's a good majority of my job. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there, done that. Um, so uh, can I ask who you work for as an IT tech? Um, it's actually my uncle. Um, his business is uh, Rich IT LV. Nice. Yeah. Um, and it's just me and him. Uh, and we're doing like, uh, we're running the networks of like surgery centers and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of medical stuff. It's pretty much yeah. Cool. With that. I don't know about you, I'm getting a little low. I think we're going to take a quick little boost break and hear a message from future Josh. Boost break! Whoa. <laughs> and now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Past Josh. If you're anything like me, you love learning new music, but hate having to search online for something that may be the right notes in the right key. Then, you have to print it out. Well, I found something way easier. As I said earlier, Sheet Music Plus is the world's largest sheet music repository, carrying all styles of music. Just for watching this video and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off any order of $50 or more just by entering the coupon code THANKS21 at checkout. Thanks to Sheet Music Plus for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's video. We're back! Ching ching! Ching ching! Clink! Sorry microphone. Sorry audio guy. Mm. So... If that uh, sponsor spot interested you at all, please consider clicking the link down in the description for it. It'll help me out. It'll help you out. It's a win-win. Other than that, let's get back into it. I have a couple more questions, then we're going to see them upstairs performing in room six. So stick around for that. Um, Gentlemen, we talked about your favorite show memory, and we talked about your earliest musical influence. Is there any... um, Let's start a fight. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so this is something I like to ask every so often but particularly I ask this of people who have been in the scene for a long time but I also like to ask it when people are fairly new to the scene um, just because they're coming in with fresh eyes what is one thing you'd like to see changed about the music scene the local music scene Ooh, uh, for me it would honestly be um, it seems like the local music scene is very cover heavy and it feels well, like the tourist towns so. right um so you know it's kind of hard out here to kind of be original artists and kind of like find a spot for you to like yeah. play that, your music that's what i would say too like most venues seem like they only want cover bands and yeah like you said it's it's vegas so you know well, at the end of the day for them it's the bottom line and it, 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 they don't care what you play if people are drinking and, you know, pay, pay, paying for tickets, etc. And um, one thing that I've found is that um, the bands, that, the local original bands that seem to really, like, make a go of it and seem to really draw, get out of town occasionally. They go on little mini tours. Right. Um, they, they do things like, hey, we're just going to San Diego for a weekend or, you know, we're hitting these spots or we're going up to, uh, you know, Utah or to Arizona. Not crazy amounts of driving, not not to the point where you got to fly there, but yeah. but they're going and doing it on the cheap because in this day and age, and they're live streaming those shows, regardless of the quality, people at home suddenly have this. Oh, hey, you know, I'm watching them and without having to you know drive to wherever they are. Right. Um, and then when they come back, they make a big deal out of oh, it's so great to be back home. So mm-hmm. that's my you know my two cents. Not that I've done it. <laughs> I never got the chance to tour, and I regret it, but. Now I let's do this. Yeah, that's yeah. probably a small dream to have like a little. Even if it's a small tour, that'd be. We were something. we were thinking about Reno, 
Because apparently they have a pretty good music scene. Well, it is the biggest little city in the world. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, don't 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 think about it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, yeah. The important thing is budget. Figure like always over budget, over plan for how much everything's going to cost. That's the number one thing I've heard from touring artists is like you know always assume something's going to break down. Something always assume you're going to need one more night at the hotel or something. You know. Right. Always reach out. It's like, hey, can we crash? Yeah. So, cool. So, with that, I'm sorry. Uh, did we cover both of you for your pet peeves of the local? Yeah. We're good? I, I think pretty we're much the same, same, yeah. same ideas about cool. that. Right on. Um, with that, I think we're going to wrap this up. I'm gonna head upstairs. It's kind of a quick one. It's only two of them. But stick around. And like I said, they're going to perform up in room six. And we have, I have all down in the description, I have their social media. And um, check them out, follow, so you know where they're going to be performing. Last question. You made it. Yay. <laughs> going back to the question number one about the earliest musical influence. Let's pretend we're talking to little you. Okay? Let's pretend we're talking to new musicians, basically. What is one thing that you wish someone or you had told you when you were starting down that twisted road called making music? And don't say change your strings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you want to start that one? I have to probably think about that one. The only thing I could say is just take practice seriously and practice your ass off while you're young because old you is going to yeah. thank you very much for that. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, maybe for me it'd probably be it's never too late to change instruments and learn a new one. <laughs> <laughs> First time playing the bass tonight? Is that it? <laughs> no. I... <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I'm going to piggyback on both of those real quick, and then we'll wrap this up. Uh, practice. Practice before you get to rehearsal. Rehearsal is not for you to start practicing what you're supposed to play. Yeah. Show up ready to do your part, and then it makes rehearsal so much more fun and also more productive. And then yeah. what he said, I, there are people such as Dolly Parton or Sting that play like nine instruments or whatever you're just like what am i doing with my instrument? what am i doing why am i not practicing right now um dolly apparently like over the course of a two and a half hour show will play nine instruments wow yeah it's just amazing. like still to this day yeah usually like that uh i'd say prince comes to mind when yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. you didn't hear that anyway <laughs> with that we're going to temporarily say goodbye see you upstairs in room six and then we'll catch you on the outro um gentlemen Shall we adjourn upstairs? We shall. Sure. Temporarily say goodbye. Bye. This song is called Polaroids. Reflecting off the line Polaroids of you Help me make it through Polaroids of you Help me make it through Forever in my pocket you'll stay Clear bright eyes don't fade away I wanna write it on the frame Say you're my dream, babe I love you, baby Polaroids of you Help me make it through Polaroids of you Make it through Polaroids of you Help me make it through Polaroids
because of you help me make it through of you help me make it through polaroids of you help me make it through polaroids of you help me make it through polaroids of you help me make it through This song is called Nicotine. Enough is enough, but I can't beat this stuff. It's like anchors around my feet, telling me to swim while they help me sink. Drowning in all this negativity But I want to fly I don't need your lies I want to run away when I hear you calling my but you keep, keep me on a leash, I can't refrain From the feeling that you give me in my brain You say I'm tough, but you aren't with me enough Say I'm good, then it just gets wrong. No, I'll never be like this time. No, I'll never be this time. I don't want to. I want to thank the October for coming by. It was a great interview and an awesome performance. If you want to know more about them, check out their social media down in the description. If you want to be on the channel, hit me up, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, using the email address down there, or click the Room 6 social media link. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up there. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. No, I'm sorry. What am I saying? If you want to see more videos, click up there. If you want to subscribe, click up there. It's live. And if you want to hear my own music, click below. Right on the other side of him. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye, guys. Bye. 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 Ba -da -ba -ba -da -bum.